Here we have world loosestrife. World because everything is kind of in a at the same level. You see everything uh, is in a whirl or a branch is out from one point on the branch. And you can see here the leaves, the flowers, everything come out from there. It has pretty little flowers, uh, yellow and so forth. Usually uh, world loosestrife tends to grow in moist areas, waste areas, whatever, where it gets a little bit, not full sun, but uh, but remains where it remains moist but gets some sun, partial shade. It uh, even even though it's called loose strife, this is a beneficial plant. In fact, several kinds of bees um, are specialists on it. They the actual illegal lactic, which means they have to have it or they're not able to reproduce. Um, it gets a bad reputation only because there is the purple loose strife, which is a nasty invasive, the purple plague of wetland areas and so forth. And people don't realize that we had some very pretty and uh, very valuable native loose stripes, which again certain bees can't reproduce without finding them. So here we have some here. And you see there's a bunch more here. The flowers tend to hand down. Uh, that way they are protected in case of rain or so forth. The pollen and nectar doesn't get washed out. So purple loose strife, I'm sorry, world loose strife, definitely not purple loose strife. One of our native loose strifes and a beautiful, beautiful native plant of moist dappled shade areas.